Alright, this video is to kind of familiarize you with some of the uh, components of the Brown fuel injection system. Of course, uh, you've already got your kit. There's the two throttle bodies. If you've already put your uh, fuel lines in, this engine's pretty much assembled. The uh, only thing it's missing right now is the uh, throttle shaft between the two. But I just want to kind of show you where we put everything and how it uh, kind of looks when we get through with it. Uh, we'll start off with the DIS. Notice we kind of uh, put this DIS that bolts up to that head and uh, kind of rearrange the wires there to kind of feed off normally. Uh, nothing really special there. The only thing different is on number six, that uh, plug wire is uh, about an inch and a half to two inches longer than the conventional uh, HEI set that you get from uh, Seth. So um, just go around to components. There's the map sensor. Uh, it's a little bit out of the light, but I'll try to get you a little bit better set up. The map sensor. It's the manifold air pressure sensor. You got the IET sensor, which uh, some people call it manifold uh, temperature sensor air intake sensor you'll see it in a couple of different ways but this sensor goes in the intake stream and monitors the uh, uh, temperature of the uh, incoming charge uh, of course here's the throttle bracket and uh, how it relates to the throttle body just want to kind of give you a good setup there now on this uh, uh, manifold uh, air pressure uh, sensor I use the line straight off the uh, crossover tube. Over on the right hand side of the engine, which is the passenger side, you got your knock sensor. You got your temperature sensor. The temperature sensor, of course, is that yellow wire, and uh, it has a resistor built into the uh, line, which makes it read correctly. On each one of these, and it's very important for the idle, is the IEC. These are idle air control sensors, or the, the pendles. And these uh, basically create a, uh, a vacuum leak to con control the idle. This is similar to uh, Chevrolet's Crossfire injection system. Two throttle bodies running two uh, air sensors, uh, control sensors. And uh, runs similar to that, but like I said, we've got a couple little things going on that uh, Corvettes don't. So uh, one of the other things that you've got to make sure you got is the throttle positioning sensor and of course that's only on the driver's side of the uh, throttle body. Make sure you got your uh, the wiring, make sure you got your battery which is hot all the time, that's the red wire. That needs to go straight to a battery circuit, it needs to be fused. Everything needs to be fused. And your pink wire goes to the switched bolt. That means when the switch is off, it's off. When it's on, it's on. And that kind of concludes the overview for right now. Thanks.